Hello, Jetty, teacher, and all of my friends. I hope everyone is having a nice day. My name is Dr. Wan Watana. I am grade 3 student in IP program at Wanapum School, Dakmawan Campus. Today, I have a new story to read for you. The title of the story is The Day Before Thanksgiving. This story is talk about the Hopper family who get invited to their grandfather for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a special day in America where they celebrate being thankful for everything they have. The purpose of this story is to remind us that family are important. Please join me as I read this story. Now let's start to listening. The hoppers awoke one late November morning, and the snow was falling outside. They jumped out of their beds and ran to the window. Come downstairs, hopper, called Mother Hopper. There are letters here for you. The hopper dashed downstairs. Let me read it, yes, speedy late. Let me read it, shout fluffy ears. I want to read it, whole lot. Fluffy tail. A letter, a letter, said Snowy Nose, and he jumped up and down. I will read it, said Mother Hopper. She read the letter aloud. Dear Hopper, I invite you all to come to my house in the wood to spend Thanksgiving Day. Your loving Grandpa Grizzly. Thanksgiving at Grandpa Grizzly. Hooray! shouts Snobby Nose. Now it's time to wander up to go to school, said Mother Hopper. It is cold outside and snowing hard. Outside the wind blew and the snow fell. The four hoppers put on their warm coats, mittens, hats, and scarves. This is the biggest snowstorm I ever seen, said Speedy Lake. The snow already come halfway up to the window, said Fluffy Ears. Let's get out, let out, said Fluffy Tam. We can sled to school. The hoppers got out their sled and took turns pulling each other on it. The, they sledded all the way to school. The snow was very deep and the wind was very cold. Once they were in school, the snow came down harder and harder. By noon, the student could not see across the load. Oh dear, said the teacher. I think we will have to have a snow day. After lunch, you must all go home. After lunch, the hoppers ran out of the school to find their sled. But the snow had become so deep that they could not find it. Our sled is boring, cried Fluffita. We have to walk home, said Speedy Lake. The four hoppers walked bravely through the snowstorm. At first, they played in the snow. They threw snowball and made snow angel. Snowy Nose tried to catch the falling snowflakes with his tongue. But the snow was so deep that they soon became very tired. Floppy ears fell into a snow drift, and the other had the other hoppers had to pull her out. Then Snowy Nose slipped and fell and hurt his chin. He cried a little bit, so Speedy Lake carried him. All the time it grew colder and colder. We are lost, cried Fluffy Tan. I think it's beginning to get dark, moaned Fluffy ears. And the snow just keeps coming down, said Speedy Lake. We miss Thanksgiving at Grandpa Grizzly house, well, Snowy knows. It was very cold, and the hoppers all stood in a circle, trying to keep warm. 
the wind blew and the snow fell all around. Suddenly, they heard a large rumbling noise and they saw a bright light coming toward them. What is that? cried Fluffy Tan. It's a train, said Fluffy Ears. It's a truck, yes, Speedy Lake. We be run over, cried Snoopy Nose. They light the light and the rumble stopped right in front of the hoppers. Press my fall, called a voice from behind the light. Here are four hoppers out in the blizzard. It's a grandpa grizzly in his big snowplow, said Snoopy Nose. Well, so. All four hopper lived inside Grandpa Grizzly's snow plow. They set up high fear. The plow pushed a path through the snowstorm. It carried them all the way back home. Go and get Mother and Papa Hopper speedy late, said Speedy, said Grandpa Grizzly. And tell them to pack their overnight bag. You all can stay at my house tonight. We will sit by the fire and have hot cocoa. And tomorrow we will have a big Thanksgiving feast. Hooray! shouts Snobby Nose. Speedy Lake dashed into the house and brought out Mother and Papa Hopper as fast as he could. All the Hoppers rode Grandpa Grizzly's snow plow to his big house. Inside, Grandpa Grizzly had a warm fire and hot cocoa. There were six bedrooms and six bedrooms all with snug father bags. The next day, they all had a wonderful Thanksgiving feast. This is the end of the story. What do you think? The hopper was so excited to go to their grandfather for Thanksgiving. Even when they got lost in the snow, they did not give up and they helped each other. From this story, I have, I have learned how important it is to work together and do not give up. I am sure they were thankful for each other and thank, at Thanksgiving. I am thankful for my family and my friend too. What are you thankful for? Thank you for your listening. Stay safe together. Goodbye. สาลาเรียนสู่วรรณภูมิเจียสลาจำแนกตูเตอร์ขมายทมจึงเกนังลอจึงเกนึกกัมพูชี